So the goal of an identity is to prove that the left side is the same as the right hand side. You typically want to start with the more complicated side and so we will go, we'll tell the examiner that we're using the left hand side. And so we can just go write it down again. Now what I would want you to see first is not the sin and the cause, it's more simple than that. I would want you to realize that there are two fractions over here. So if I asked you, for example, 1 over 3 plus 1 over 5, you would know instantly that you need a common denominator. So we're going to need a common denominator here. And the common denominator, so I'll call it the LCD, is just going to be sin x and then 1 plus cos x, like that. And so what this means is that we're going to have to multiply the 1 plus cos x with this one, and then the sin x with this sin x. So we're going to end up with 1 bracket 1 plus cos x minus sin x bracket sin x over the common denominator. We can't ignore the common denominator because we don't have an equation. There's no, we don't have like an equal sign. What we typically do now is we don't multiply out the bottom part, but we do multiply out the top and then we simplify. So that's going to give us 1 plus cos x minus sin squared x. Then at the bottom you just leave it as it is. And so we should know now that in grade 11 there is this identity, and, and you might be a grade 12 doing this because you have to know your grade 11 work as well. So we should always remember this identity that they don't give us in the formula sheet, but it goes sin squared x plus cos squared x equals 1. So we can go change this now into that. So we can change that 1 into sin squared x plus cos squared x, and then we still have plus cos x minus sin squared x. What some students do, and I often do do this myself, is I take these two together and then I move this identity around. You can do it like that as well, but what I've started realizing is that by just substituting into the 1, students understand that a lot better. And then at the bottom, of course, we don't really want to multiply that out unless we really see that we have to, but that will only happen later. So we leave it like that. Now what we should see is that these cancel, and then this we can just, they can't go together because it's a cos squared and a normal cos, but we'll just leave them as it is. Our next step when we have a situation like this is to factorize. Now the bottom part is already factorized, but if it wasn't, you would then factorize it. But we can factorize the top. We can take out a cos x, and then we'd be left with cos x plus 1, and then at the bottom, we have the same. Now cos x plus 1 and 1 plus cos x, they are the same, so they can cancel. And so we are left with cos x over sin x, and that was what we were trying to prove. And so the left-hand side is, in fact, equal to the right-hand side.